Hi, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a good day so far, or had a good day, depending on what time it is. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I, I guess, record my demolding videos. I got a comment asking if I could show that, and I don't mind showing it. Um, basically, this is where I do all my pours, I do all my demolding videos because it's right here in front of this window. Um, I also do my um, doming here. So everything basically mainly gets recorded here. I even take pictures right here. Um, I just move things out of the way. As you can see right now, it's just uh, a messy table right now. But I will try to clear some of this stuff off. And I shoot my demolding videos right here so that it gets some sunlight because the window's there. Um, the sun's not really shining right now. So that's why sometimes the videos are a little darker. Sometimes you get that sun in the video. But yeah, this is the area where I do that. I even sand over here um, in this area too. It's just nice because I'm right by the window. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start basically moving just some of this stuff out of the way. Um, and then I will probably move this out of the way and start laying down my background for the demolding. These are what we're going to be demolding today and that you'll be seeing in the video. But yeah, I hope um, this is helpful for people. So I fear I could actually show you. I put my phone to record on this basket here on this tripod. I believe I got it from Amazon. Um, it's not a super big one, which is why I have it just wrapped around something that can give it height. So you may see my videos like kind of a little corner of the edge of my basket, but I use <laughs> this basket. I'm pretty sure you could find a better tripod to use, one that will actually just stand up by itself, but I just haven't invested in one yet. Um, this one has worked out for me um, good so far. So I'm just going to put the camera into here. That way you can watch kind of me moving stuff out of the way here. And this is just stuff that I am using to work on for Christmas items, which is why they're there, just because I wanted them to have them out there. I have a really dirty mat to get used. <laughs> Though it doesn't really, I can clean them up, they'll get dirty again. We are going to just be moving this here, this domey mat. I just move it over to the side there. And then I usually take these sheets here that I have. I got these from Amazon. I believe they were galaxy origami sheets. So just these paper sheets. And because it fits with my whole galaxy theme, I like to use them. Um, I tend to, depend on what the color of the item is, I try to pick like the closest color to it. So I think these items are more greenish, so I'm going to try to use these right here. And also up there, these are just items that um, need to be redomed or need to put um, latex on the other side to dome the other side. So don't worry, they're not being used right now. This is from another day. They're already fully cured, just need to be redomed. I try to cover up the little zodiac signs just because that's not supposed to be the, I guess, center of everything. Though it's not really a big deal if they show. I've been trying to have these backgrounds lately for the YouTube videos just because I know they're better than having like a background such as that or just like a plain background. It makes it more prettier for the videos. And now this is where it gets a bit tricky just because I have to figure out how I want to have the basket sit and angle. I know you guys are probably like, why don't you just get a better tripod? Why do you have to deal with this? But I mean, I guess I haven't invested in one because it hasn't became too big of an issue where it's like I'm tired of this basket. 
Um, yeah, it's not too big an issue. Um, it's just trying to find the right angle to sit the basket on so you can see everything in the, the molding video. But I don't think any of you guys have noticed yet that it's, I'm even using a basket. You probably just think maybe I'm holding it. Or I know some people try it. I know some people actually with the molding videos, they'll put like, they'll try to hold it in their mouth. They'll try to hold it with their chest so they can get a good angle. Um, I recently, well, I guess not recently. I just decided to get this tripod and have it on the basket. That way I don't have to do any type of holding. Um, if anything, I just have to make sure that the basket doesn't fall down. Um, so, I mean, that could be a bit annoying, but yeah. So after you have your background laid out, or usually I just have my background laid out, you on the camera, I usually can zoom in and yes, I, I forgot to say, I'm doing this all with my phone. So I'm not using a fancy camera or anything. This is all with my phone to record my demolding videos. And most people use that too. Um, I know some YouTubers um, and just some people with resin in general, they have fancy cameras to take pictures of their items and stuff. But you don't need to do that. If you really want to, if you're into having those types of photos and those types of videos, then you could do that. Um, I know I have a camera, but I personally don't know how to use it well. Or I'm not even sure if it works well anymore. I tried to record another angle so you could see how I demold these videos with that camera. And it's just too bright over here for some reason for it. So I usually just set my demolding videos there. Or demo <laughs> my demolding pieces, the pieces I want to demold here. And then you could decide maybe you want it tilted down a bit. Maybe you want to zoom in more like that so that looks better. Um, I do sometimes wish the sun was shining more, but I mean, you, you work with what you got. If it's really a big deal, you could save um, your demolding pieces till later when maybe the sun is shining more or maybe there's no sun shining. But for a sake of video, I'm just going to show you what these look like. I've been holding on to these all weekend. <laughs> it's Monday now, and I've been so excited to demold these because I use, I believe, color shifting pigment, if I'm not mistaken with this um, chameleon flakes, I believe with these, and then holographic powder with this. And I just poured black resin on top of it. So I'm excited to see how they turn out. So usually when I record the molding video, I just started playing here. I don't really say anything. I just start demolding. And I just tend to let the audience, depending if I leave the sound on or not, be able to hear the ASMR of the demolding. So we're just gonna do that. And sometimes with the molding videos, it can be hard to um, catch how things look on video. So these are color shifting chameleon flakes. And I think they actually look better not in the sun. I think in the sun, you only can see kind of the green, but out of the sun, you see more of the shift to like a purple or a pink. Even with this, um, he actually looks better in the sun. You can see the holographic, but let's zoom out. Out of the sun, he's just, he kind of just looks all green, but in the sun, really pretty. 
So it could be hard to sometimes film these demolding videos or even capture photos of items because they look, they tend, they can look different um, on the phone or on the, <laughs> they can look different taking photos or taking videos than they do in person. So you could just be aware of that. But yeah, this is how I record my demolding videos. I hope this was helpful. It's mainly just finding that area. Um, personally for me, I try to just use this area because it's close to the sun. So I have some light coming in. Um, and then I just use these backgrounds that I use for all my photos and my videos, or I try to at least um, to record on or record as the background. And then I use my tripod on my basket that way it's at a good height because my tripod isn't super tall and i'll try to find my tripod um, that i have if you guys are interested and i'll probably put it in the description as well as this paper if you're really interested in using it <laughs> i haven't seen anyone else use it yet um, i'm not entirely like picky of having it all to myself because i mean it's on amazon other people are gonna have it anyways it's nothing special to me per se um, but yeah, I just hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about what I showed you. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty simple to do these demolding videos overall. Um, let me know if you're gonna try to do your own demolding videos or um, if you like the items. Um, I think these items came out pretty cool. But I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.